So, what's better? One platform or multiple platforms? <laughs> well, don't be silly. Of course, the answer is having 20 of them. G'day guys and girls, it's Captain Carter, and welcome back to the Ultimate Station mod tutorial guide for Transport Fever. Now, as you saw in the intro, we went from <laughs> having one blissfully tiny platform, uh, as we started over here in uh, in episode 1, and now we have 20 delightful platforms. What you would ever need 20 platforms for is beyond me. But what we will have a look at today is platforms and transit tracks. So without further ado, let's jump right on into it. Okay, so as you can see, I've upgraded uh, the Baton Rouge station here to 20 track platform. We'll turn the container off because it's getting a bit, bit crowded in here. Uh, we'll go... We'll go some high-speed trackage as well. And shovel. Right, so what we've got here is 20 is 20 platforms. Now you can have up to four transit tracks. Now a couple of good ideas for transit tracks is things like um, let's uh, let's say for instance you have a couple of local passenger lines and you want some express lines going down the middle not a problem this wonderful example here is just that you've got six platforms here so you've got platforms one two and three you've then got two passing tracks in the middle which do not stop at a platform and then you've got tracks four five and six now the tricky thing here is you can't always get exactly what you want. So if I go to a four track platform and I want to keep my two transit tracks, that's what happens there. It still keeps me my two over here, gives me my third here, my two transit tracks, and then my fourth. So an alternative solution here might be to use a two track station, have two mainline tracks running up the middle, and then another two track station next to it. An example of which I can show here. The only problem with this particular setup, however, is the fact that you have two separate stations with obviously your mainline passing track in the middle not able to reach these platforms. So what you could end up doing here is this particular option, which is running a six track platform. Now obviously you don't have to use uh, platforms three and four here. You can leave those as complete passings or complete passes if you want. If you're modeling a typical Sydney suburban station for an Australian map or even indeed just the Sydney map for transport fever, this here is the station design that you're most going to want or this platform layout you're most going to want to go for. Now the only way you can achieve a layout such as this is to have three tracks being one, two and three with a single transit track positioned down the center. What that then does is once you turn off your leftmost and rightmost platforms is creates underground entrances only for these platforms, but it gives you four usable terminals. As you can see, terminals one, two, three, and four. This is an excellent design for Sydney-based stations. So this has been a short tutorial on different platform designs that you can achieve with the Ultimate Stations mod. Uh, if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe, leave a comment, and check out the Captain Carter Discord channel, the link for which is in the video description below. I've been Captain Carter, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, where we'll be looking at triangular platforms. I'll catch us later.